Now, Nicola Sturgeon has described the police investigation into SNP's finances as her worst nightmare. But this bad dream just keeps getting worse for Queen Nick and whom's are useless. At another FMQ's humbling for the new First Minister, the leader of the Scottish Conservatives, Douglas Ross, mocked the mess the SNP is in, comparing it to the hit police drama Line of Duty. This week, the SNP's ex-treasurer, Colin Beattie, said it wasn't me, Gov, when he was asked about the notorious camper van before abruptly changing his mind. And Hamza Youssef has said he isn't sure if Scottish Government ministers are using burner phones. That's what the First Minister said. This is all starting to look like uh, an episode of Line of Duty. And as the SNP's reckless management of Scotland continues to bear its rotten fruit, Lord Frost explained on my show this week why now is the perfect time to start to reverse devolution. We have ridden that tiger long enough. It's come close to dismembering the country and it's time to stop and have a proper debate about does Scotland need all these powers? But in a failed attempt to signal business as usual, Humza Eustace directly responded to that Frost interview in a promo video urging separatists to take part in a national campaign day. Watch. Only last week, a senior Tory said the quiet bit out loud. They admitted they want to put devolution in reverse. In Westminster today, the SNP's Brendan O'Hara tried to take Penny Mordaunt to task over Lord Frost's devolution proposal, but the leader of the House of Commons slammed his party's record. How devastating it must be to SNP members and supporters to have placed their hopes and trust at the hands of people who have been so reckless with their dreams and the mandate that they have given them. And, and now they know how many Scottish taxpayers also feel when they look at the SNP's ruinous sell-off and sell-out of their country. Calvin McKenzie, uh, this is all falling apart, isn't it? You've got the Scottish Tory leader now comparing what's going on in the SNP to line of duty. So can you understand why Lord Frost says actually this might be a moment? Because the Tories never wanted devolution. This was a Labour policy. Well, it, it is a good moment to watch the SNP collapsing after seven years of basically taking our money and then mocking the English and hoping that that turned out to be a policy in itself. And it didn't work in the end. In the end, the chief executive is, is arrested and uh, the uh, the first minister has to stand down. So the, S the devolution is in reverse. I don't think we should... We should have to hurry it along because I think it's collapsing anyway. As people begin to discover, said, well, if the SNP can't handle its own finances, what are they doing with ours? After all, they're already being taxed higher, and yet they get a bigger percentage of the money from the Treasury than anybody, including the English. So the Scots are doing just great under the present system. Why they'd want to change it, I have no idea, since it's now clear that the nationalists can't run anything, including their own finances, where actually they can't find auditors in time to get their accounts signed off in this financial year. They are, they are in serious trouble, and they'll get fined for that on top of everything else. And on top of that, I do not believe that much as we dislike Sturgeon, she turned out to be a leader. Yusuf, or useless as you like, and others like to refer to him, actually is not a winning hand in my view. And that actually he's going to be like those managers who followed for a while, followed um, the Manchester United legend, and there is going to be a series of them that's going to be dismissed, and he's one of them. He's going to be rejected. They've got a by-election coming up shortly. They're going to lose that to Labour, and if they lose that to Labour, this is the only thing that worries me, that we're going to end up with a whole load of Labour MPs, a whole load of Gordon Browns coming down here, and actually, I liked it when there weren't a lot of Gordon Browns down here. No, indeed. That is, a, that is a good point. And of course, now he's almost pleading with Starmer to get into a coalition of chaos. Yes, I, 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 it's it absolutely fantastic. By the way, on the Gordon Brown issue, I noticed that he hasn't said anything about bullying. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I wonder Have why, Kelvin. Why do you I, think I mean, that is? I mean, he was, he was a proper 101% ogre. 
right? A Labour cabinet minister told me that. So why is it that he doesn't step forward and say, isn't it disgraceful what the way they've treated Dominic Rabb? I got away with it scot-free. <laughs> Very, very good point, Governor McKenzie. Uh, you do make me laugh.